So we have our very kind of basic animation in place here. Uh, we could animate a lot of different elements. We could really kind of animate that Z position, other things like that. But I want to keep this simple because what I really want to look at now is going in and adding a camera. And uh, here I'm just going to get rid of the animations here. To add a camera, it's very simple. You either go to the Layer New, Camera, or you go to uh, right-click down here, Control-click, and you go New Camera. Uh, here, I want to select One Node Camera. I'm going to give it a name, and I'm just going to call it uh, One Node. And I'm going to go with the default, which is 50 millimeters. Now you have a choice of different lenses here. Uh, again, uh, these are roughly equivalent to 35 millimeter lenses. So a 15 millimeter is a uh, slight fisheye, 20, 24, 28, wide angle, 35 and 50. You could consider uh, 35 a slight wide angle, or you could consider it a standard lens. 50 millimeter is the standard. Anything over that is a telephoto. So here I'm going to click OK. And I now have the camera. And this primarily means one thing in terms of a starting point. I need to change my workspace so that it's designed to work more easily with cameras. Now here, um, I'm going to start by going in under one view and change it to two views horizontal. Now these little yellow triangles in the corner indicate that this is the active window. So if I click here, this is now the active window. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And what I want to do is, what this shows me is the, uh, the canvas. This is the top view. I can change it to something different over here if I want. I can change it to left, front, whatever works. So this is the front view. It shows us here. And notice that the only thing I'm being shown in the preview here are the 3D layers. So that background water is not a 3D layer, so it doesn't show up here. If I turn it on, and if I turn it on, uh, what I really mean is make it a 3D layer, it shows up. And here, this is actually an interesting point to look at as well, because you can see that once it becomes a 3D layer, it interacts with the other two layers in 3D space. So because I shifted their positions, it now, um, now some of them go uh, before and behind. If I make it a 2D layer, it's just a background. Okay, so here, a uh, couple of things I want to do. Uh, I don't actually like working in front view there. It's not very helpful. Left, top, right, or bottom are all more helpful than that. I'm going to go back to the top view because what I'm using this for now is to position my camera. So um, here, uh, just to point out, a uh, camera is like any other layer in 3D space, I can move it. And here, moving it, um, move it on the horizontal axis by grabbing the red button, which is tiny, 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 and then moving it side to side. Now, let's say what I want to do is start over here. Let's do a very simple animation. Uh, just drop this down, go to position. Okay, add a keyframe for that. Actually, I wanted to add that one at the beginning, uh, so I'm just going to move that to the beginning. And what I'm going to do is just a simple animation where the camera moves to the center and stops. So again, I'm going to add another um, keyframe there. And really, all I want to animate is this X. And here, I'm just going to move this across until that is centered. And once that's done, I'm going to go in and just change this so that, it, oops, I'm going to switch to this uh, Convert Vertex Point tool. So I can click on that and just kind of create something that is a little bit more kind of interesting in terms of camera movement, a little more exaggerated, perhaps, in terms of the movement. And if we look at that, again, I should be doing a RAM preview here. But we can, so I, I shouldn't say we should be doing one, I'll just do one. So I'm going to click there, it's going to generate the RAM preview. So it's going to be very slow at first, and then it should speed up the second time it runs through. Okay. 
So again, I can make adjustments here. So the more exaggerated I want this to be, this will also kind of bring us closer to the object here. So let's just make this more exaggerated. And again, I will generate a RAM preview. So we'll see cameras moving closer to the 3D layers and then moving away. Okay, so that's uh, using a camera, a OneNode camera in 3D.